Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, select objects with your mouse cursor. So just be aware that this only works with actors, so that's the reason why you see so many cubes, uh, because I made them for the purpose of this tutorial. Um, so first of all, let's go into the third person character and let's make an event tick. And basically what we want to do is a uh, line trace by channel. And this is kind of like a line uh, that if it hits um, if it hits an actor, uh, it can tell you what actor it is, so, which is pretty neat. So w the thing is, the tricky thing is about this is what, what do we use for the start value? and what do we use for the end value which is what this video is about really so we actually want um, the convert mouse location to world space and we you want to uncheck the context sensitive let's add that and the target is the player controller oops sorry about that player Control. Get controller. Okay, great. So the let's move this a bit back. So the world location has to go to the start, and with the world direction, we actually want to multiply that um, by four thousand, and we want to add the world location. Um, to the multiplication and we want to add this to the end so it should look something like this and for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to set the draw debug type to for one frame so that we can actually see the line trace which will be a red line okay so after that we want to get the break kit result and as you can see a bunch of nodes appear and what we want is the hit actor which is the actor that we'll be selecting so first of all I you actually want two variables which I've already made uh, just name one hover the actor and the other one selected actor or however you want and both of them the type has to be actor reference. Okay, great. So we want to set the hover the actor to the hit actor, just like that. And basically what this will do, we'll have a variable that will be storing uh, the actor that the hit line trace is hitting so that we can select it afterwards. So we want uh, left mouse click event. Um, just for this tutorial, you can choose whatever you want. And we want to set the selected. Oh, sorry. We want to set the selected actor to the hover the actor. And just for the sake of this tutorial, so that we can verify that this is true. I want you to make a sequence over here, followed by a print string showing um, what actor we have selected. Let's compile it and let's play. And as you can see, we have like this red line, and it's basically following the cursor so let's say I wanted to select uh, this cube as you can see well it's cube 5 let's say I wanted to select another one and it basically works just like that and what what you can do with this um, with the selected actor um, variable you can manipulate the information that that actor has you fit in your game 
So thanks for watching and if this video was helpful make sure to like and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one. Bye.